Hello, welcome back to the next tutorial about chords on the piano. So uh, we had triads and inversions of triads in the last tutorials. So today we're going to talk about special triads, the suspended chords, and second about four note chords, so seventh chords in C major. Let's begin with the suspended chords. We learned that this is the C major triad. So instead of playing the third, we can replace the third with the fourth. So we got a suspended four chord. So that's C suspended four. Or we can replace the third with the second. That's the C suspended two chord. So there's no third in those suspended chords. All right, the next topic are seventh chords. So having this C major chord, we can add another tone over here. So that's the major seven of C. So that's the interval from C to B. That's the major seven of C. So this is the C major seven chord. With this chord we have four shapes. So it's the root position, the first inversion, the second inversion, and the third inversion. And if we do this once again, we got the root position again. All right. In the key of C major, we still have seven chords. The first one is C major 7. The next one is D minor 7. So this 7 is the B7, not the major 7, because the major 7 is over here. Sounds very different. So that's D minor plus the B7. Next one is E minor 7. F major 7, G7, seven. that's G major plus the B7, that's the only major chord with a B7 in one key. Then A minor 7, and the last one is B diminished 7, but a real diminished chord is diminished at the 7 as well. So the diminished chord, the full diminished chord is like that. So this one in the key of C major, we call that one the B minor B5. So that's B minor B5 7. And we got all those inversions of those chords. If you play in a band with both hands, you can just play three notes with the right hand and one note, probably the root note of the chord, with the left hand. So for the C major 7, we leave the C and put it to the left hand. D minor 7, B e minor 7. And if we use inversions of those chords, we can play C major 7 like that, leave the C in the right hand and put it to the left hand. So back to my first tutorial basics about playing keyboard in a band. In Billie Eilish song No Time To Die we had the E suspended 2. Originally it's that one. We use this inversion and play the root note in the left hand. So it's that one. The second one was a C major 7 chord. We play an inversion without the root note and play the root note in the left hand. 
And then we have A major. So I play two notes, the root note and the fifth note in the left hand, and the full triad in the right hand. Once again, E sus 2, C major 7, A major. That's a good way to play piano in a band. And with all those seven chords, we can build a lot more sophisticated progressions with the chords. So one really popular progression is the 2-5-1 sequence for jazz. But even Johann Sebastian Bach used it. So we use the 2 of C major, that's D, and it's a D minor 7 chord. Then 5, that's G7, and then 1, the first chord, C major 7. So, because we don't want to jump around again, we use an inversion of G7. We don't play it like that, we play it like that. And now it's that sequence. 2, 5, 1. And then if you have a piano job in a hotel bar or wherever, you can play this for hours and it sounds the way people like it. Like that. Alright, so that's it for today. In the next tutorial, I will show you how I play piano in a band. We just recorded a live stream concert in a garden where we just played Unplugged with a cover band. And I can show you how I play chords like that on the piano because I don't have any synthesizers with me, just my piano with some sounds, with organ, electric piano and piano sounds. I can show you how I play chords in an arrangement with a band playing Unplugged. Alright, so I hope you had fun. See you for the next tutorial. Bye bye.